Hi, as you can see, I already have my trunk and branches made. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply the extend parent option. By enabling extend parent, it basically forces an extra node to be generated at the end of the parent branch. I'm going to select the big branches generator, which is the child of the trunk generator. You want to select the child node because it is the child's property that governs the behavior of that section. So in this case, I'm going to select the big branches and scroll down to extend parent and change it from none to any. And as you see, the empty space is filled. So remember, you want to enable extend parent on the child generator. So I'm just going to add more branches by duplicating the big branches generator and adding it on top. And you'll notice that the extended parent branches will keep growing. As I continue adding branch generators, you can see why using the extend parent tool is so useful. It basically gives you a natural seamless transition from the trunk all the way to the tip of the twigs. On the last set of branches, you can either choose to make the tip of the branch thinner by editing the radius of the blue curve, or you can choose just to add caps. Something to remember is that caps and extend parent branches are all generated in the same fashion. So in this case, I'm going to add my cap generator on top of the broken branches towards the bottom. When using caps and extend branches, you will also notice there's a nice seamless blend between the two. You can also choose to set the extend parent branch to the bottom of the tree. As you can see, it set the whole branch structure to grow at the bottom. Another thing you can do is add caps to the bottom of the trunk as well, something which is new to Speed Tree version 8. Now, if you go to the Extend Parent drop-down menu, you'll notice that there are many options that you can use. But in this case, I want to set it to bottom. That is it for this video, and thank you for watching.